Hello and welcome to Susie B Living's Gardening by the Moon series. Hope you've had a good week. This week has gone so fast and I haven't spent a lot of it in the garden because it's been raining. You wouldn't believe it, would you, with this sun that's out at the moment? But this is the best part of the day and it is evening time. <laughs> the rest of the day has just been a complete, well, it started pretty bad, then it rained and now it's good. So that's the weather for you here in the UK. It's up and down. I am trying to navigate everything. Some things are growing really well and other things are not growing so well. Today I spent a lot of the day here in the greenhouse sorting out my tomatoes. So that's all good. Everything looks great. I've got some extra little tomatoes um, growing as well. I did a video of it of my update for the week so you'll see what I've been doing in the greenhouse with the tomatoes. Um, it was a leaves day today on the moon phase calendar so I sowed some seeds. I did more um, uh, herbs, that's the word I'm looking for, more herbs. So every leaves day that comes up I always sow, at this time of the year I'm sowing um, coriander, dill, um, Thai basil as well. Normal basil I don't because normal basil I just get plants from the supermarket and I rip them apart. I don't bother at all growing normal basil because it is so much quicker doing it from the supermarket. I mean I've got pots all over the place and I must say it loves the veggie pod so I've been putting quite a lot of basil in the veggie pod as well. So let's start okay this is for the whole week again um, this is just my sewing schedule for the week on the moon phase days so monday the 8th of july which is tomorrow we have two halves the first half in the morning is a leaves and the second half in the afternoon pm is fruits and that carries through to tuesday the 9th and wednesday the 10th so they're all two and a half days of fruits. Let's deal with the leaves first. Okay, if you want to sow something, I've got my trusty little seeds here. Um, I sowed some of these leaves today, but because I knew that tomorrow morning was gonna be leaves and I've got the morning free tomorrow, I'm gonna sow the rest then. Again, herbs. If you want to keep up with herbs, especially things like coriander and dill, at this time of year they want to flower quite fast. So you need a lot of successions going. I plant, so here we are, I do them in nine centimetre pots like this. And then if I need to put them in the garden, I just plant out the whole pot. Otherwise, I then um, pot it on maybe into a litre pot. Um, like so that is a two litre pot but you know anything like that I just plant on and then um, if you want to keep it in a bigger pot or you want to put in a terracotta pot you can always do that as well but keep up with sowing things like uh, dill uh, coriander basil if you want to because you probably won't have enough I we never have enough in the summer so I'm always always sowing that that's my leaves um, the, oh by the way I'll just tell you the varieties that I like there's a variety of coriander that I particularly like and it's called Calypso this is a Mr. Fothergill's um, variety and it works really well because it's slow bolting so that's a really good one. Uh, oh I also did my parsley today that I said I was going to do which is the Aphrodite the curly parsley so I did that but I did that in these modules here because I want quite a lot of them. Uh, what else have we got? Flat leaf parsley I did it um, on my uh, what I did for the week um, I did a video of parsley as well so you'll see that if you watch that video you'll see that I'm going to I'll probably load it uh, I'll edit it tonight and I might load it tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon so you'll see what I actually did um, for the week there's not a great deal but you know it gives you an idea there's the old basil chives if you want chives as well now if you want some chard or some perpetual spinach you can also sow that as well. I mentioned in my what I am sowing in July video the varieties that I like. So I'm going to do some rhubarb chard and I'm also going to do some, um, I 
I've got it written down. White silver chard. It's a lot. It's a larger chard, and uh, this is also silver beet, by the way. Um, and it and it does really well. So I might put a few of those in as well. Uh, perpetual spinach. Again, that's the other one that you can sow. Um, if you want to try true spinach, then I suggest a variety called Santa Cruz. It is very, very slow bolting. It's a great variety. I will talk about this variety a lot because it is excellent. I've experimented with it a lot and it works really well. So that's that. Santa Cruz, yes. And... Let me just look what else I've got on my um, thing. Oh, radicchio. So I just got my radicchio seeds um, and I got these from a company called Vital Seeds. I buy a lot from this company. You'll know the packets because it has a, I think that's a picture of fennel on the top there. What do you think? Do you think that's fennel? Looks like fennel to me. Um, so and they are great here in the UK. They're all they're all organic. It's all a soil association organic certified. And so the variety of radicchio that I love is it's called Chioggia, C H I O W G I A. Again, I'll put it up on the screen what it's called. And there's a number after it which is five o six T T. That's the radicchio that does really well for me. So that is my leaves, okay? Then when we get to fruits, so fruits again, I'll remind you is tomorrow afternoon. So Monday, the 8th of July, PM, Tuesday the 9th, Wednesday the 10th, okay? So those three days are fruits days. Now, if you want to do something a little bit experimental, uh, which I, well, I do this every year. So for me, it's not an experiment. I just like doing it. Um, and you want to have tomatoes later on in the year. So when all your other ones are finished and you want, and you finish, and you fancy some lovely cherry tomatoes in particular, then I suggest you sow some tumbler um, tomatoes. Um, I like, I've just got my seeds from Just Seed, another fantastic company that I love here. Um, and I got some tomatoes, some Tumblr F1 tomatoes. And I put a few of those in and then I put, the, but I put them in pots and I keep them outside. And then when it gets start to get cooler, I bring them into the greenhouse and it just extends that season a little bit more. So that's your fruits. Okay. Then, where are we up to? Thursday, the 11th of July, we're back to leaves again. So if you didn't sow your chard or your spinach or your parsley or your herbs or your radicchio or anything like that, you've got another day um, to sow leaves. Then, Friday, um, which is another half day, okay? Friday morning until lunchtime is flowers. So any flowers you want to keep on top of, have a look at. Oh, I want to show you this flower, actually. I've got, I've got to bring it outside now, but I've got to show you it because it is absolutely beautiful. It's kind of, there we are. Look at that. That is called a calla lily. It is gorgeous and it is called Captain Rosette. So let me just put it down in front of me so I trip over it when I go out and I'm going to take that outside now. It is absolutely beautiful. So yes, like, like I said, um, if on Friday morning you want to do any flowers, look at all your flowers and see how they're going. That's the time you do it. Then in the afternoon, and this thing continues for the whole of the weekend, Friday afternoon, the 12th, um, and then Saturday the 13th, Sunday the 14th are all roots days, okay? So if you want to sow some uh, carrots, some late carrots, get yourself a variety that um, grows well into the cold. But don't look for something like... Um, What's a popular one here? Autumn King, I think, is a popular one here. Don't look for something like that because that kind of carrot should have been sown a month ago. Look for something that's going to do well now into um, 
uh, into the colder weather or look for a really fast variety. Uh, if you had a look at my, I did a video on five crops to sow in July. I'll put a link below so you can see it. And one of the um, snippets in that video was sowing carrots. And I chose a very, very fast growing carrot called sugar snacks. They grow very fast. They're actually a summer carrot. They have very thin um, roots and they're delicious, but you will get a crop of those if you plant them in containers um, now. The other one, the one that I sow now that loves the cold weather, weather is a um, variety called Napoli. It's an F1. I absolutely love it. I grow it all the time. I grow it um, now into winter and then I keep growing it. I keep sowing it now. I put it in troughs or um, pots or just make sure that the, whatever receptacle you're using is at least eight inches deep, which is 20 centimeters. It doesn't matter about the size. Just make sure that that's the depth. Um, Napoli doesn't tend to grow. You'll get about a six inch length carrot, but they love the cold weather. So as soon as it gets cold, they start to get really, really sweet. They are gorgeous. So you can sow those on the root stays as well. And that's all that I'm sowing so far this month. Okay, so that then takes us to Sunday the 14th of July and let's hope it's a better week. I don't look at the forecast anymore because if I look at the forecast it just depresses me. So I just kind of wake up and look out the window and think right I've got five it looks like I've got five minutes of sunshine. Let's go out and do something. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining me. Thank you all my subscribers. And I hope that you are moon phase gardening. Um, if you're not, it doesn't matter. Just uh, if you got to the end of this video, um, just look at the seeds that I'm sowing in July. You can sow them and sow them at any time and enjoy July because July is very much much a kind of um, going in neutral month. There's no rush or anything like that. When August comes, we start to get busy again because August, September are huge sowing times for me, just as um, I would say <laughs> February, March. That's a big sowing time for me. So enjoy your garden. I hope that you're getting the fruits of your labor. I hope you're getting nice harvests. If you are, let me know what you're harvesting. If there's any issues with anything and you want some advice, just let me know. I always um, answer questions. I may not answer straight away, but I do answer questions. And for those of you who are interested in a, um, a monthly, a calendar, written down calendar from me, I'm getting that sorted. I've got the, um, uh, well, is it a website? Oh, anyhow, I've got the idea, I've got the idea of where I'm going to put it all for you. And um, I will set up a um, part on my, on my YouTube channel because now I'm able to have memberships on my YouTube channel. So if you want to become a member, it'll be a, it'll be a small fee that you get a, that you pay every month to be a member, but you get this hard copy of a calendar. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and say hello. Let me know where you are in the world. See you later. Bye.